What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now you guys seem to really love our series of side mount penetration dives. And I got a lot of questions about how do I personally rig my side mount bottles and what rigs do I wear. And I've done several videos in the past. I'm going to link them down in the description below so you can kind of see how I personally set up my gear. But I want to go a little bit more in depth in this video and show you how I personally rig my cylinders. And we're going to look at three different types of cylinders here. We're going to look at how I dive side mount if I'm diving double tanks. We're going to look to see how I rig a pony bottle or an alternate air source or a stage bottle, whatever it is you want to call it. And then and we're going to look at a single tank side mount setup as well. Now the reason I want to make this, not only have you guys been asking a bunch of questions about it, in two weeks I will be down in Cosmail diving and a buddy of mine's going with me and we're going to do nothing but side mount diving but we're going to be specifically diving in a single tank side mount situation. And we're going to do a video together kind of explaining his rig and my rig and why we choose to dive it. But I do want to show you the rig that I'm diving today. And, and like I said, it's just going to be the tank. And I'm just going to show you how I've got it set up and why I set it up that way when I'm doing side mount diving, say in a single tank situation, and I'm traveling as well. So with that being said, I'm going to look at these tanks here behind me and I'm going to show you exactly how I set up pony bottles, side mount doubles, and of course side mount singles. All right guys, we're going to take a really close look at each rig that I've got here and I'm going to kind of explain why I have it set up the way I do. But before I do that, I want you to understand you need to set your side mount system or your pony system or your stage system in a fashion that works for you. Don't necessarily compare it to mine or compare it to others. Just make sure you set it up to where it's going to be efficient for you to use and safe as well. Everybody has a different setup or a different system. Even all of our side mount divers here at the shop, we all dive a different system, whether it's different manufacturers factors of gear or just different configurations of hose lengths we all do it a little bit different just make sure you practice with it and you're efficient with it as far as i'm concerned though i dive of course aluminum 80s i actually prefer aluminum 80s no matter where i go in the world i'm going to find aluminum 80s you will notice that both of these cylinders have mirror valves. I've got a left-hand valve and a right-hand valve. They do have the extended post here on the inside. Basically, it's just from a, a double system where I've took the isolator out, put caps in it, uh, or in this case, I've actually bought two separate valves, but it's basically from a set of doubles where you just take the isolator out. And these posts really come in handy because my bungees actually wrap around and grab onto the post, so it really works great for me. Standard short hose configuration, standard long hose configuration, basic tech setup. This guy comes off the cylinder, up around the left side of my neck, hangs around my neck on a necklace, and of course this one wraps around my body just like a standard seven foot or a long hose would. Basic tech setup on that. Works really great for me. I like it because I can travel with it because I don't use uh, the worm gear bands. I just simply use cam straps. And of course, I've just got uh, my lower attachments or the bolt snaps there on the bottom. I do prefer the larger ring on them. So if I'm diving a dry suit or something, I get, or uh, thicker gloves, I can get my fingers in there when I'm trying to disconnect the cylinders. Basic setup for a double side mount. We're going to look real quick at a pony rig system just to kind of give you a different perspective here. In the near future, you're going to see me diving uh, with a good friend of mine who dives a ring bungee system from Dive Right. And basically, instead of having a system like this, he is using using a stage kit, right? So a stage bottle kit, it's either a rope or a piece of um, strapping, if you will. You've got an upper attachment point, lower attachment point. We've all seen pony setups. We kind of know how they operate. Um, but on his, he actually has a choker that takes this upper attachment point and it holds it into this position here. You see, with a standard stage kit, when you clip off the top part of your bottle, it allows that bottle to tilt and hang at a cant off of your body. By adding a choker though, it pulls that bottle on up into that D-ring. So the choker is going to hold um, your bolt snap here and it's going to pull the upper part of that bottle back into trim, especially if you're diving a ring bungee system and you're going to see that in the very near future. But I kind of wanted to show you that to give you kind of a, a preview of what you're going to see in the future. And a lot of guys actually prefer that inside mount, and especially if you are diving that ring bungee system one of the benefits to that is you don't have to have these extended posts you see the extended posts really come in handy if you're using a bungee system like mine where i reach around and grab it with the bungee 
This one, you don't have to have that. And you don't have to have left or right-handed valves. You can use any standard valve, put the choker on, and by clipping to the ring bungees, it's going to hold it in position, hold it in the trim, and you can pretty much travel and go anywhere with that stage kit. Well, I've kind of went in between the two, if you will. As you can see on this, this happens to be my single cylinder side mount setup. Now, before I go further, let's jump back just for a second. My left bottle, which is what I always run if I'm going to run a single side mount cylinder, will always be one of these here locally because I have the extended post and it's just going to work great for my rig. However, I do have this single cylinder set up for a standard valve. And if I come around to the back, you'll notice there's no extension post here. And just kind of show you what I mean by the extension post. This extension post right here is about an inch and three quarters long. The extension post here is barely a quarter of an inch long. And I'll try to show you here on a valve what I'm talking about. This extension post, you'll see how long this one is, which this one's probably about an inch long. There's no extension on here. So what I do when I travel, if I'm gonna be in a single tank side mount situation, I'm gonna prepare for rental tanks that are like this. If I happen to get a tank like this, then great, this little extension post is gonna help out. And it's even better if I can get a tank like this, which is gonna be rare, but I do wanna prepare for a valve that does not have this extra long extension on it. So how do I do that? Well. I simply set it up the exact same way and I actually don't change anything as far as my side mount rig goes because my bungees are still going to wrap around but instead of wrapping my bungees around the non-existent extension post I want you to pay close attention to the first stage that I'm using this first stage if we measure it from the top of the post here and I'll try to get the camera set up just right for you if we measure it from the top of the post all the way here to the end of the uh, first stage, and we'll notice we've got a little gap here between the hose and the end of the first stage, it's just shy of an inch and three quarters. This just happens to be an inch and three quarter extension post. So I really don't have to change anything. My bungees are going to go under the valve knob go around the back side of the valve or the post here, and instead of grabbing onto the post here that's non-existent, I just extend it on and I grab around the top of the first stage there. So I don't really have to change anything. I don't have to go over to a ring bungee system. Now, I did add this little guy here, and it's just held on by paracord that's kind of girth hitched around the post. I did add a spare attachment point here at the top. And if you saw our video of how I get on and off a boat while diving in side mount, you'll understand that all of my side mount bottles, I have a little piece of paracord here that I can attach a double ender to if I'm walking with them. You saw that in a previous video as well. Or if I'm jumping off a boat or climbing a ladder, I just simply attach a double ender which clips to my D-ring. And that way I'm not hyper extending my bungees simply by walking or trying to carry the tanks when I'm not in the water. So all I did here was is just took an extra little bolt snap, tied it on with a little bit of paracord which I can very easily swap over between tanks. And when I'm jumping in, when I'm climbing ladders, even in a single tank side mount, I'll have two solid attachment points, attachment, lower attachment point, upper attachment point, and nothing really changes with my system. Now, there are other ways that you can dive in a non-dedicated valve situation in side mount, whether it's doubles or singles. I just want to kind of give you guys a broad spectrum here. We will be doing a video in the very near future. As soon as I get to Cosmail, myself and a good friend of mine is going to be showing you two different rigs, and we're going to be talking about why we like to dive the rigs we do, just to give you guys a better perspective. To be honest with you, I love side mount diving because it's so unique and it's something that you can set up for you. You can set up whatever bottles you need, you can use whatever regulators you want, and you'll even see, like on my pony rig here, this is a non-balanced piston regulator, and you'll see there's really nothing to it. It actually extends back versus on the side. Um, it's not a swivel design. It's not a, a horizontal design or a vertical design. It's just a, a basic non-balanced reg set. So it works great for pony use, may not work so great for side mount use. But you can really set these systems up to set to suit your needs. And you know the main thing is, is that you're efficient with it and you practice with it as well.
So there you go, guys. That's my single tank side mount setup. That's my pony setup. And that's my double tank side mount setup. I hope this kind of opens your eyes and gives you a better understanding of some of the things that side mount divers have to consider when they travel. You know, if I'm very blessed, I can go somewhere and find the bottles that I need with the valves that I need. If not, I may find myself in a situation where I don't have that extended post. I either, one, need to change my BC system with a, a different bungee system on it. Two, I can kind of, you know, make or fabricate my own system. Or three, in the case that I've got, the first stage alone allows me to keep my system working the exact same way it would in a double side mount system. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are interested in side mount. If it's something that you want to try, this is what I want you to do. I want you to seek out your local SSI uh, training center, see if they have a side mount instructor, and go out and try it. You might be surprised. You might actually like it. But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Stay tuned, because like I said, we've got plenty of more single side mount uh, videos coming out in the very near future, and hopefully they'll be interesting and educational as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.